All right, guys, you know what day it is. Today is Book Review Day, Extreme Ownership Edition by Jocko Willick and Leif Babin. Hey, guys, and before we start, like and subscribe. You've been watching our content for this long. If you haven't done it, what are you doing? I don't even need to say anything. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, guys, so Extreme Ownership. This book is for anybody who is maybe putting a little bit of blame on somebody else or something else after something goes wrong. Anybody who feels like they are never at fault to something or blame somebody or just feels like, poor me, you should read this book. This book will help you see things in a completely different perspective. Yeah, and if you're the guy that's saying, well, that's not me, what Jagger just said, you probably are that guy. So read the book. If you always say, hey, I haven't gotten the promotion because they don't like me. Hey, I didn't get the deal because someone keeps offering more and more money, right? Oh, these follow-ups, nobody wants to sell. Oh, well, the market's tanking. Market's tanking, right? You guys know where the market is right now, right? Oh, last year I was getting all the deals I wanted. You know, there was low money, but no deals, right? What's this year's problem, right? Um, what's, what's this year's problem? This year's problem is, oh, high interest rate, a lot of deals, but expensive money. Last year was... Cheap money, but no deals, right? There's always something, right? But people are still making deals, right? So clearly it's something that you're not doing. Exactly. So this book is for anybody, you know, unless you are someone who takes accountability for every single thing that happens in their life, this book is for you. And even if you are, I bet there's still a couple of things you, you could learn from uh, from Jocko and, and Leif Babin. So. Yeah. Uh, one cool thing about this book is uh, in terms of just the entertainment aspect to keep you reading is they start every chapter <laughs> with uh, a scene, a uh, well, real life scene or a problem that, they're, that they went through when they were overseas at war, right? And what they do a great job as, they'll keep you captivated because it's almost like you're like reading like a, like, a, like a movie script. It's crazy. And then what they'll do is that they'll then take that situation and then bring in now how does it connect to your life, right? So how do, I t how do we take those tools, um, translate it over to how you can benefit from it, and then they'll do a good job at breaking that down. So every chapter is like that. So the book is entertaining, educational, and it just keeps you, like, hooked. We always keep talking about you want to follow someone who's been through this before, right? So these guys have been through it at the highest level with their lives at risk. So we're just doing this in business and real estate and sales, whatever yeah. you're doing. You could follow these principles. And the best part is it's all about you taking ownership for yourself, Anything that happens in a day where you don't close on a property, you don't, um, you know, you don't get the promotion you want, like Ronnie said, some of those factors aren't in your control. But if you just say, hey, it's because of X, you're not giving yourself the opportunity to actually learn something. Because even if it is because of the market changing, does that mean you couldn't maybe blame yourself and do something a little bit better the next time and sharpen your skills? And that's what they talk about in this book on how to sharpen your skills and how to learn from yourself. This isn't about, you know, being the smartest guy in the room. This is just about whatever you do, learn from it, practice it, and consistently be the person who is challenging yourself. Because if you're not doing that, you're never going to grow. And he really teaches you ways you can practice this every single day. This book focuses on one theory, right? Everything is your fault. And how can you do something different because everything is your fault? So you, the only way that something's going to change is if you do something internally to change. In terms of tactics, this book uses every chapter to teach you a different tactic to attack that one theory that this mm -hmm. book is based on. A couple of quick things. Leadership, accountability, friendship, relationships, all of these things are touched in this book, but the main star is extreme ownership for yourself. Uh, what are you giving this book rating wise? I'm giving it a nine, probably 9.5, honestly. Uh, this book is a constant reminder that whenever I even try to blame something on someone or some external thing, uh, real quick, it brings me back like, it's my fault, right? Like I didn't go, I didn't wake up to go to the gym, so I only had an hour instead of an hour and a half. It's my fault, right? I didn't wake up. I should have gone to sleep earlier. I could blame it on the alarm, right? Like, oh my God, the alarm didn't go off. Like, like, chances are I just didn't hear the alarm, right? So it's a it's a great reminder. I read it, I think, once every, like, two years, that book. Um, and it's, it's, like I said, it's just great, it's entertaining, it's well-written, no complaints. Yeah, Jocko, you're the man. Leif Badman, awesome. Jocko. Wish you guys, uh, you know, could come in right now and just slap me in the face with some extreme ownership because I'm not going to lie, sometimes I, uh, I don't follow extreme ownership. I have, you know, a lot going on in my life sometimes, and I blame people, I blame things and um i'm happy i do recognize it most of the time and even if it's not in the moment it's later that day where then i could reflect and realize how i can be better the next time so i'm fighting this battle every day it's not just you know we're perfect so um you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and uh you know don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're hearing yep. boom